Can I have a minute alone with Mickey, guys? Thanks. Thanks. <sighs> Mickey. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. <sighs> Man. God. Duh. How do people say goodbye to, to their best friend? How could you just leave me like this? It's not your fault. I get it. I get it. It's not your fault. I'm just... Emotions, the things, I just... I think I'm PMS in here, guys. Because, you know, I host pin myself. It's it's a funny joke, Mickey. You would, you would laugh if you were still here, but, you know... Gah! Hello, everybody! Welcome to this video. The video where I talk about my PC finally working! It's a very exciting thing. It's right there. Mickey, he's so happy. He's working. And he's like, oh boy, I'm all happy now that I'm back to life. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> in my last video, a lot of people were kind of all over the place in the comment section. I mean, it was probably the best comment section so far on Swashin'. You know, you get all the nice people that are like, Matt, you know, that was really creative. I'm really happy that you did that. It was really funny. Great job. Good luck with Mickey. Hope everything works out. Then you have the people that say, Matt, you ungrateful piece of shit. You got that for free and you're pissed off about a $15 shipping cost. Go to hell. Then you also get the people that say, Matt, you broke it because you're stupid as f you twat bag. And then you get the people that say, did you try turning it on and off again? So this video is going to be a condensed version, uh, basically about my experience with Asus, um, correcting a lot of your comments and being stupid, which is just a given. So let's start off with the fact that I bought the motherboard myself. So all of you people that think I am ungrateful are wrong. And you really make yourself look dumb here because you're supposed to know what you're saying before you say it, you twat bag. You can't make assumptions like that. Especially when I have a video where I state that I paid for the motherboard, the CPU, the RAM, so on and so forth. Go ahead and watch that video. You know what? I'll even... Put a little thing up there for you if you want to click it. But yeah, I actually did pay for it myself. I have the receipt and um, it's only a month old, which was the big problem that my motherboard failed, which then leads me to the next part. People thinking that I broke it myself. Now, I would agree considering I am new to building a PC is my first one. I would not have been surprised if I had broken it. But the problem was I had it for a month and it worked perfectly. So. I was expecting maybe the first time I booted up and it blows up or something, but no, uh, it worked for a whole month and then it just went like that and it was gone, done, and it stopped working. So when I sent it to ASUS, they did in fact confirm that I didn't break it. It was a defective unit. So I had a feeling that was the case anyways, but for all the people that thought it was me, you're wrong. You're fired. You know, honestly, it was probably the biggest relief to hear that because so many people, I can't even tell you, so many people said, Matt, it was you. You're stupid, you know? And I'm like, you know, I know I'm stupid, but I don't think I'm that stupid. So talking about my experience with Asus, I had to ship them my motherboard, uh, just the motherboard, that's it, not the box or anything. And um, it cost me 15 bucks. Now, it's not about the money. It's not, if it was a dollar, I would still be equally as angry. If it was more money, same thing. Um, the reason why I'm mad is because I bought it a month ago, you know? one month ago and it broke um i have the receipt blah blah, blah. i talked to them they're not going to refund it regardless so i'm very upset about that because i'll give you guys a good example let's say you buy a brand new car you're saving up for it super excited a very nice car so you're driving it a month later and all of a sudden uh-oh your engine is broken oh shit. So you call the company up and they're like, yeah, dude, you're going to have to pay to get that towed here and we'll fix it for you. Which is great. Like, yeah, they're going to fix it. But they want me to tow it. They want me to pay to tow it. No, 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 no. I would get one of those people to come over here and I would make them push the damn car with their own hands before I pay for someone to tow my brand new car that has a bad engine. Hopefully that makes more sense to you guys. It doesn't matter if it's a motherboard, it's a car, or whatever the case may be. It's it's kind of a messed up situation. And it's not like I did anything to my computer. People thought that I did stuff. Uh, like, okay, when I use my computer, it's, it's not a laptop, so it just sits there, right? And I, I use it. I don't take off the side panel and lick the motherboard, take a screwdriver and start smashing the shit out of it for fun. No, that's not what I do. So that's why it's kind of confusing that it just stopped working, you know? So I sent it to them. It took two days to get there. It took a day for them to check it in. And for a whole week, it stayed in the product received 
status, basically. That's all it said on the dashboard. And uh, honestly, I, at that point, I thought, damn, this is going to take like a month. If it's taken a week for them just to keep it there and not touch it, makes me a little nervous because there was different things at the top that said like, oh, you could be in product received, you know, repair in progress, all these different statuses. And mine was still in the first one. So I was a little, little salty about that. Uh, cause you know, I do work online. It's kind of a big deal to have this computer. That's, you know, I have a MacBook, I have a Mac mini, whatever, but I bought all the parts of this computer to do more work. You know, it's, it's a powerhouse. So little upset about that and um, kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but I received an email from them, right? This email, I'm like super excited. I open it up, basically says, we're going to send your motherboard and I'll show you guys uh, the email and it's, it's all like blurred out with personal information, but basically they gave me a tracking number and this tracking number uh, was to the, was for the motherboard when I sent it to them. So I'm all confused. Like, yeah, that's not the right tracking number. And then, best part, scroll down, bada bing, bada boom, look at who it's sent from. It's literally sent from Matt Philly of Asus Tech Computer Inc. or whatever they put there. And the phone number was my phone number. So apparently I work at Asus. Very odd. Whatever they use to generate emails, obviously messed up big time because that's not true at all. I was so confused, so I gave him a call. 26 minute phone call later uh, and a lot of holding the guy who did not really speak English well at all. You know how the whole thing works with call centers. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just saying. Um, and he barely knew anything that I said. Uh, he ended up saying, you know, okay. I talked it over with one of my colleagues. He didn't say colleagues. I, I didn't know what he was saying, but he basically said, you know, it's, it's a defective unit. We're very sorry about that. We're going to send it out. Uh, here's your tracking number. It gave me like 50,000 letters and numbers. And I was like, great, thanks. Really appreciate it. It took a couple of days to get there and they gave me a whole brand new one. Oh, so happy now. Everything's better. Thanks, Asus. No, I, I'm happy they gave me a new one, but damn right. They give me a new one. Uh, you know, <sighs> people that think that I'm in the wrong by being mad about this are stupid <laughs> and you probably handle situations very poorly and you let people run all over you uh not the way it should have been handled um you know it should have been like a quick swap uh it should have been like a bada bing bada boom they receive it they're like holy shit, this is defective let's send them a new one boom less than a week and i got it no it took like two weeks in total um and i still had to pay for shipping when i that whole scenario should not have happened at all and the whole thing about you know, companies like Asus being so perfect and never having a defective unit. That's a load of bullshit. <laughs> you know, I don't care who they are, Apple, Samsung, whatever the case is, defective units are a thing and I completely understand. I just wish it was handled better. And um, trust me, I'm not saying don't buy from Asus. I will most likely st still buy from them because they have some kick-ass products. It is a great motherboard. Honestly, I'm not bashing them in any way. I'm just sharing my customer service experience with you so don't take it in the wrong way some people were saying matt you know you're not big on youtube you ran it about asus just makes you look like an entitled dick and i'm like okay thank you uh so i'm just sharing my experience take it or leave it it's whatever i don't care i'm just sharing so my computer's up and running i've been streaming on twitch twitch.tv slash swashin and hopefully more pin my setups will be coming out pin my setup beta uh phase three is in motion for the brand new q which means it's almost out. There's like 10 fixes left. There used to be like a million, but there's only 10 now. So we're getting closer. Have some fun things happening. Uh, maybe a big giveaway. Also, I'm going to VidCon. I'm going to Vlog Affair this summer. Both really cool events. And I hope to see you there because uh, I'll be meeting Barclays. I'll be meeting Linus. It's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to vlog that. So if you want me to vlog it and put it on this channel, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below by writing, oh, hell yeah. Flamingo and said, oh, hell no, you know, oh, hell yeah, positive thinking. Great, cool. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. With that said, I will catch you on there. Flippity flop. Oh, and by the way, probably a lot of you are going to say, where did you get that really badass wallpaper? Well, I made it, and if, if you want it, I could put it in the description. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, let's see. Okay. I can't believe it. Mickey's back, and oh my god, what is this? Why is there cake inside of Mickey? This is the best computer ever, and I'm so happy it's back. Holy crap, wow. This is great, this is real good.
Yes, oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be good. 